Welcome back guys and girls. Thank you very much for checking out my video. We're back again with another series of how to mod your first order toy pilot. So we're gonna jump straight into it. So I've been recently trying out first order toy pilot. He's not as bad as what I believed he could have been, especially after the big nerve, you know, he was critting out quite a lot, but with mods now, what we can put some speed on him. We can also put some more crit damage, some more crit chance. And yeah, he's, he's decent. Is he arena worthy? Mm, it, it's difficult to say. It all depends on your shard. You know, with the AO, o, AOE meta around, sorry, it's very difficult to have these single characters. You know, like Ray's not as viable anymore. Um, other characters are just one hit. At the minute, the big flavor of the August month, while well, coming into September, is the AOE teams. So maybe he's going to be viable in the future. Maybe First Order are going to get a buff at one point. Uh, maybe when the new film comes out. But this video is going to be here. It's going to be up on my channel for a while. You know, mods are obviously going to change. I'm going to do updated versions of these mods. It's going to be fantastic. And together, we're going to try and build you the best character that's going. You know, we're going to make sure that we get the best. I'm going to point you in that direction. So it's going to be very similar. This to Ray. You know, there's going to be characters that are all going to be crit damage, but we're just going to go over them because you may not see all my videos. Not everyone's going to be interested in the first order toy pilot. So let's jump straight in and we're just going to have quickly have a look at his abilities. So he deals physical damage to target enemy with a 45% chance to attack again. This chance is doubled if the first order pilot has advantage. So to me, where is he viable? Phasma, definitely. Phasma's great to go with him, but also as well as Anakin. Anakin's great as well. And the reason behind that is sometimes if the Thai pilot misses, he's going to get advantage. You know, I found a lot that you got advantage a lot of the times, you know. But yeah, Phasma definitely, she's the one that's going to grant it pretty much instantly. But after Phasma, yeah, Anakin, it's worth a try. I got through Galactic War. I did a whole Galactic War with this guy today. And I loved it. It was brilliant. I was having a laugh. I enjoyed it. So gun down. <laughs> Reminds me of um, someone called their guild at one point. So um, he deals physical damage to the target enemy and inflict fence down for two turns on a critical hit. If first order tide pilot has advantage, also inflict health down for two turns. Yeah. This is where I can probably get with a fence up. I can get about 28k. Um, to RG I got earlier, I think it was 24k crit. Without a fence up, he'll do normally about 17 to 18k, which is pretty decent. Okay, he's not Ray, but it's just sometimes good to be different, to have something different, you know? So, um, let's have a look. So, keep eye. I, I love this part. First order, TIE pilot has 15% critical chance and 20% critical damage and gains advantage for three turns the first time the enemy falls below 50% health which is good if, you, if you're running an AOE team with them you know the match is going to end quite quick you know he's by the time he gets his turn you're probably already going to have advantage on him straight away you know so it was fun especially in Galactic War it was pretty decent right so I'm going to take you under the hood of the first order tow pipe though okay so Alright, his stats, he's got 14k, 14.5k, so 14, 5, 2, 1, um, HP, so that's health, um, his protection is 20,934, 20, which is pretty decent, it's alright, you know, um, his speed I've got him at, at the minute is 172, I didn't really see that I need to make him super quick, you know, he's not one of those sort of characters, yeah, he's slow, but... He's not really going to change the game for you. He's more of just fun, just to bring that little bit of fun, that little bit of spark to it, where you can just get into critting. You're like, oh yeah, it's like something that Leia used to do for you when she'd crit, and now she just doesn't hit that hard. You know, she's like, it's like a little slap with a glove. But um, yeah, it's critical damage as always, two hundred sixteen percent. There's no compromise on that. You want two hundred sixteen percent. That's critical damage. That's that's awesome. Um, potency is good. Yeah. Because you can then get these kind of like debuffs down, you know, especially if you're using that on Ray. If you hit a debuff on her, it kind of then starts to mess with her mojo, so to speak. Um, Tennessee doesn't really matter these days. If Palp's going to stun you, Palpatine's going to stun you. You know, he has a lot of high potency. He's, he's the only one I'm afraid of in the arena, you know, is him stunning my whole team and I'm just sitting there like, what? What? 
my son fucking eighty percent density, you know. <laughs> but he just bypasses it. So yeah, yeah, a little bit of potency won't hurt. But he's not really that sort of character. You're not putting him in your team to debuff people. You're not going to go, yeah, you know what? I'm going to use first order tie pilot to debuff. You know, it's more you want that damage. You want that boom, that pow. He's your damage dealer. Um, so physical chance of opted. He's, he already has high critical chance to start with, but yes, if you can put more crit damage mods on them, crit mo crit chance, yeah, he's going to be fantastic. You know, if he's critting all day long, it's good. But at the same time, he needs advantage to really kind of like push his basic up. So he's then got more chance. He's going to double tap. Um, yeah, he's got low armor. Special damage is okay. Um, but yeah, so let's jump on and see what mods I've got on him. Um, they're not the best mods, by the way. It's just more of the direction where we're heading with the mods is where you, you should really be going, you know. First mod we've got on him, as always, 5.88% offense. Yeah, he's got some decent protection on here. He's got 5.23 protection on this. Unfortunately, I've got no critical chance. It'd be awesome if I had critical chance on there, but I haven't. Um, the others I'm not really too fussed about. Yeah, he's got some offense on it. Um, I opted for on this one on the processor defense again you have to have it I've got some critical chance which is fantastic and also some protection and some offense that's a pretty decent one I would like speed on there but you know you can't always get what you want so we're gonna go to this where he does have speed this is a must you don't want last thing you want in this current meta this current kind of arena this kind of like uphill battle it's having slow characters slow characters just don't work anymore there's too much speedy mods out there and it is about the need for speed yeah, you catch what i said there <laughs> anyway yeah this has got some potency it's got some defense it's got some offense and it's got some protection let's go with the triangle the critical damage this is a must by the way you know if you haven't got these then he, he isn't as strong you know you need this critical damage so the, the kind of footage you've seen of what I was kind of laying out. Yeah, these are the stuff he's got on him. You know, he hasn't really had much problems getting a crit. But the more critical chance you've got, the better he's going to perform. But we also want advantage. Don't put accuracy on him if you're using him under any lead. Because if he does miss, um, like if they dodge it or anything like that, he's going to get advantage up. So that's great. You know, that is like fantastic. Um, this one we've got speed, critical chance, bit of defense, and some protection. As always, protection. So this is always going to be protection. I don't know why you would put health over this, because protection is so much more. This kind of like ratio. I just don't get it. Why isn't health a lot higher? Um, it just makes sometimes no sense why it's like 5%. This is like 4 ratio over it. So I'm definitely going to go protection all day long. Even over a lead of Palpatine, I'm still think protection's still going to be higher. You know. Um, so yeah, we've got no crit chance in this one. Sorry guys, I've failed you on this video. I have failed you. But I don't really want to strip off all my other mods from overs just to show you. This is how it does. I'd rather keep my team in shape, put him in, maybe use some mods from the guys that are on the sidelines. But I don't want to be putting my Anakin mods on him really. Anakin's got a high crit, but it means I won't really be able to use Anakin in the arena. And I'm not really down for that. But yeah, definitely crit chance is a must. Crit damage, some speed, and a bit of potency. Last, I've gone for offense. Not many I've seen normally go for protection on this one. I think on Lando, I've got protection. Um, or I might be wrong, I might have offense. <laughs> but if you haven't seen that video anyway, go and check it out. It's a good video about how I modded Lando. Also how I modded Anakin too. And um, so yeah, we've got a bit of defense on here, which you don't really need, you know. He's still going to drop like a sack of potatoes, pray it that way. If Ray comes along or Anakin, yeah, they're going to seriously hurt him. Unless you can get his defense over like 36, 7%, then yeah, it'll be. But at the end of the day, he's still got low protection, low health. He could probably be one shot by Ray with a special flurry. So we've got some speed on this one. Yeah, this... Overall, my final thoughts on the TIE Pilot. It would be better if he was an Empire character. I definitely would be like, yeah, I could use him. But, I, except for Galactic War, can't really use him. You know, I can put him into my arena, but the big question is, is he going to improve 
your squad. Nah. Nah, not a chance. If you're, if you're working towards kind of like Lando, yeah, he's a good maybe substitute, some good to play around with, good to have a little laugh, but ultimately, there's a very lot of RNG with, he's like Leia, you know, like Leia, Rey, them sort of characters are unfortunately dying off at the minute, and it's the same with First Order TIE Pilot, well, he probably died off after the whole, whole nerve. Um, I actually haven't seen anybody in my shard um, run this go. Um, I don't know why he, he, he was good. You know, he can still be made good. What's your thoughts on him? Do you enjoy using him? Let me know in the comments below. But thank you very much for watching my video. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Like my video, you know. I'm going to keep making these for you guys. I enjoy making these videos. I, I'm going to do some Ray. I'm going to do some Sunfire. I'm going to do some new Raid stuff. And we're going to have a fun. We're going to have a laugh. It's going to be good. But thank you very much for watching this video. And check out the rest of my stuff. If you haven't already, Smithy D out. Have a great day.